Hello friends, welcome to the Cold War Preppers Weekly Pantry Haul. Uh, this is the week ending Saturday the 21st of October 2023. So a lot of this is from the uh, Amazon Prime uh, sale that happened and so I'm, this is the last of it uh, finally came in. So I'll, I'll let you know which ones those are as we go along. I've had two trips to HEB, our local grocery store, so each time I go I try to pick up one package of this uh, Hereford. Picked up a jar of ghee. Now that's going to be the butter I'll be using for cooking in uh, post-apocalyptic world. The chili mac was on sale 50% off on Amazon Prime, so that was an advantage there. Uh, some vegetable bouillon and some shrimp bouillon. That's going to be so we can fix some uh, paella. Uh, Midland 40 channel handheld CB radio. Uh, when I have FRS, GMRS, and CB radio, so we can do the Channel 3 project uh, after SHTF. And uh, then I also have an HF scanner. I, I can't transmit at HF, but I can receive. Uh, the three packages of MREs, I was checking after I bought them at the commissary at Fort Hood, and uh, it was $1.85 a package cheaper uh, to get MREs online on Prime Amazon Prime Day. Uh, than it was at the commissary. So I went ahead and picked up an additional three. Uh, we got uh, chicken burrito bowl, uh, Southwest beef and black beans, and uh, beef patty jalapeno pepper jack. Now the disadvantage of $1.85 savings on Amazon Prime over buying it at the commissary, at the commissary you get to choose uh, what you want. Uh, when you buy them on Amazon Prime, you get what they want to give you. I've been picking up a lot of these little uh, sauce mixes. So uh, beef stew, this is for chorizo. So we can take uh, our canned sausage and turn it into chorizo for paella. Uh, can of Wolf Brand Chili Original uh, Chili Mix. Had never seen that before. I'll have to show that to Helen. She hasn't seen it yet. And then four or five Sloppy Joes over time. Uh, we did go to Costco and pick up their chunk chicken breasts. They have the best tasting chicken breasts on the market. Uh, a small bottle of uh, olive oil from our local grocery store. Two pounds of arboreal rice. This is basically La Bamba uh, that you need for paella. And then there are regions of Spain where they put lima beans and green beans in their paella. And so I'm going to try that. Uh, it's got some baby lima beans. Of course, we'll have to soak those and cook those before we use them. Uh, during Prime Days, picked up, no, I got this one. This package I got at our local hobby store, 50% off. Uh, and then uh, Prime Days, we got some wooden wax, uh, wooden, um, oh, what are they called? Uh, wicks. Thank you, Helen. Uh, wooden wicks and then a, a candle trimmer and some other things for, for candle making. And then uh, on Prime Days, we got some beeswax wicks. So these are three inch ones for the smaller uh, candles that we'll be fixing. Oh, and I forgot a can of anchovies for the paella as well. Our church had their uh, fall festival. And so I went there and picked up, uh, got some fantastic, you, you aren't gonna believe this. I got all of this for $1. Uh, picked up the Paschal Menor. This was in their, uh, um, what is it called where, where people sell what they don't want? Their, uh, Used? no. Thrift. Anyhow, people donate stuff and then they sell them and get to keep the money. So uh, I picked up these, these four books here for $1 uh, total. The Paschal Mystery, uh, Catholicism and Fundamentalism and Defending Against the Attack on Romanism by uh, Bible Christians by the... Uh, rediscover Catholicism and uh, the Catholic Study Bible. Uh, so it just has all the Greek and, and Hebrew, which is phenomenal. Uh, I want to I want to study that in greater detail. Uh, then I did order one book from um, Amazon Prime, and that was the Humanure book. Uh, so Poo Poo in a Nutshell, and this is basically by Joseph Jenkins. Uh, this was recommended by Jim, and I forget Jim's last name, in an interview that was on the Provident Preppers channel. 
And uh, that's a fantastic channel. If you aren't subscribed to it, I'm going to put a link to it down below. Please subscribe to the Provident Prepper. Uh, you get so much knowledge from those two. That's Kyleen and Jonathan. Uh, but anyhow, uh, so Jim recommended, and I'll put a link to this down below. This is basically how to compost human manure, how to keep it so you don't have an outhouse that attracts flies and disease and everything else. So uh, basically how you're going to get rid of human waste in a post-apocalyptic world. So that's our prepping for this week. Um, things are definitely going to be slowing down. Uh, if it weren't for the uh, stuff that I got on Amazon Prime and and uh, fulfillment late after that last week, probably would not have that much this week. So starting next week, it's probably not going to be as uh, voluminous as it is this week, but we will keep you up to date. And I'll try to add one or two things just to remind you of things that we've picked up in the past uh, that you might want to consider getting before all poo-poo breaks loose. So remember, we're all in this together so we can come out the other side together. Please be kind, polite, and respectful to each other because togetherness is the key. Take care.